guys in this video I am going to show you some camera features and movements for beginners. First is object tracking. We can make camera to track any object. Select the camera and go to object constraints. Click on track tool and select the object you want to track as target object. Let me show you camera image in other viewport. Now if I move the cube, the camera tracks the cube. Similarly, we can track any object like here I have selected a point light. Susan as well. Second is follow path. Here you can make camera to follow a path by parenting method. I want this camera to revolve around the queue. Press shift A, add a desired circle and scale it until it aligns on camera. Now to align camera on circle go to edit mode select this point and press shift s to bring cursor to that point. Now select camera and press shift s selection to the cursor and camera is aligned. I will adjust the camera to bring object in the frame. Now I will shift select the circle and press ctrl p follow path for parenting method. Now if I hit space the camera revolves around the cube 300 frames. You can change number of frames in the render tab. If you want to loop the animation set endpoint 200. Let me show the camera view. But you cannot properly control the direction of rotation, so I have this another method by object constraints. Same procedure till aligning the camera but don't forget to press Ctrl A and apply all transformations on desired circle. Select the camera and go to object constraints. Click on track 2 and select the object you want to track as target object. Now go to object constraints and select follow path. Turn on the follow curve option and set forward axis to negative x. You can now easily control movements around the circle by this offset value. Add keyframes and animate the camera movements.
third one is align to the view if you want to set camera to a view like in viewport simply press ctrl plus alt plus numpad 0 or simply go to view option in the drop down select align view and select align active camera to view the camera gets aligned to the view fourth one here is an add-on called isocam it is really very helpful to create orthographic and isometric scenes if you try to add a camera to a scene like this it's really very messy instead of which we can just press true isocam or game isocam we can directly get a better orthographic view We can control resolution of the camera by adjusting these pixels. You can download this free add-on from the link given in the description. Go to Edit Preferences, Add-ons and click on Install. Select the downloaded file and press Open. Enable this add-on. I hope you guys like this video. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.